The Atrium Hydra 3200 is an innovative LED bar grow light designed for 4x2 coverage. Atrium Lighting is a USA company based in Seattle, Washington. They were among the first to bring fixtures with algorithmically spaced diodes to the market. The Hydra 3200 incorporates them into four bars that run the long way in a 4x2 space. The design leads to exceptional uniformity, and with 320 watts, it has more than enough power to fill in a 4x2 space with high-density light. Hello, growers. I'm Dr. MJ Coco from CocoForCannabis.com. I conduct independent grow light tests as part of our comprehensive grow light guide. I run the Atrium Hydra 3200 through PAR and EPAR tests in a 4x2 test area. At full power, it smothers the canopy in high-density light. I dimmed it all the way down to 59%, and it still kept the entire canopy in the prime photosynthetic range. I'm impressed with the Atrium Hydra 3200. If you're looking to maximize production in a 4x2 tent, it may be the best light. You can get one on atriumlighting.com, and we have a 10% discount. Use code CCFC. But one lucky grower will win this Atrium Hydra 3200 for free. I give away the fixtures that I test during my live premieres on YouTube. If you're watching during the premiere, you have a chance to win. If you miss the premiere, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next one. The Atrium Hydra 3200 arrived in a rather large box. Let's look inside. The fixture itself is folded at the bottom. And then these two big boxes. This one feels almost empty. There's a manual in this bag, and then the power cord and hanging kit. I guess the driver is in the smaller box here. Yep, it's a Sosin driver, and it's connected to the nice Atrium digital dimmer. Let me unpack the fixture. It's folded in half and well protected. I'll slide it out of the bag and open it up. I laid everything out. Let's take a look at what we got. Over here we have the hanging kit, and a little manual card, the power cables, and then the Sosin driver with the digital dimming box here. The Hydra 3200 looks almost too big for a 4x2 space. It should have excellent coverage. And Atrium uses an algorithmic distribution for diodes along each bar. They were one of the first companies to do this, and many others have since followed suit. Let me set it up. You can see how big it is relative to the test area. It's very close to touching the top and bottom wall. It's somewhat further from the walls on each end, but the distribution of diodes will help spread light in those directions. I just have to connect the cable, and then turn on the Atrium Hydra 3200. Let's check out the diodes. You can see their distinct distribution along the bars. The Atrium Hydra 3200 features full-spectrum diodes from Letistar. Letistar diodes perform slightly better than the top Samsung diodes in independent testing. I discussed the diodes with Mike Lin, the founder of Atrium Lighting, and he explained that they did their own tests to confirm that. They made separate Letistar and Samsung versions of the Hydra 3200 for in-house testing. The Letistar version performed better and cost less. I've previously tested the Mogobi Octopus, which also uses Letistar diodes, and I was introduced to Tony Chen from Letistar. I plan to collaborate with him on an upcoming video project about the science of LED diodes. The Atrium Hydra 3200 has a total of 1,136 diodes, which is about 3.55 diodes per watt. There are 768 full-spectrum Letistar diodes at 3,500K, and 320 full-spectrum Letistar diodes at 6,500K. There are also 48 660 nanometer deep red diodes from TD. While we wait for them all to warm up, let's go check out the published stats. This is the product page for the Hydra 3200 on atriumlighting.com. Here are some of the key stats. The power draw is listed at 320 watts, and the PPE is calculated at 2.7 micromoles per watt. Down here is the shopping section. We can see the list price is $419, and we have a 10% discount code for all products on atriumlighting.com. Use code CCFC. Before I run my own tests, let's run these data through the Cocoa for Cannabis Grow Light Calculator. This is our tool to help growers analyze grow lights. It focuses on the important metrics and allows you to make better comparisons. In the calculator on the right, I load all the fixtures that I test. In the calculator on the left, you can enter your own data. The Hydra 3200 has a listed power draw of 320 watts. With discount code CCFC on atriumlighting.com, your cost will be about $377. And the PPE data that we got seems to be a calculated value. They claim 2.7 micromoles per watt. 
The calculator is unkind to calculated PPF values, so it drops the expected efficiency down to 1.98 micromoles per watt. I expect the Hydra 3200 will do better than this in my tests. But even with these low estimates, it should be more than enough light for a 4x2 space. It's time to run some tests. I have the Atrium Hydra 3200 set up in a 120 by 60 centimeter test area, which is close to 4x2 feet. I have it at full power, and I had to raise it up to 49 centimeters, about 19 and a half inches, to get the maximum PPFD to be 1,000 micromoles per square meter. This is a safe maximum density of light for growers without supplemental carbon dioxide. I use the Apogee SQ500 quantum sensor to set the height and run the PAR test. And then I run a second test with the Apogee SQ610 e PAR sensor. The PAR sensor measures light from 400 to 700 nanometers, and the e PAR sensor measures light from 400 to 750 nanometers. The difference between PAR and e PAR is that e PAR includes far red. The Atrium Hydra does not have any far red specific diodes, but full spectrum diodes put out some of their energy in the far red wavelengths. The densities of photons measured by ball sensors are impressive. Let's check out the PAR map first. This is really an incredible map. You can see the maximum PPFD near the center at 1,000 micromoles per square meter, and all of the corners are still above 800 micromoles per square meter. That is outstanding uniformity. Flipping to the EPAR map, all of the values tick up because we're including far red light. The values in the center all the way from the top to the bottom of the map, tick up to just over 1,000 micromoles per square meter. These maps are close to the theoretical limit for how much light we can safely fit into this space. Let's run the numbers. The hanging height for both tests was 49 centimeters, about 19 and a half inches. The maximum PPFD was right at 1,000 micromoles per square meter, and the maximum ePPFD was slightly higher at 1,037 micromoles per square meter. In the PAR test, the average PPFD was extremely high at 913.1 micromoles per square meter. That converts to a usable PPF of 657.5 micromoles. The theoretical limit in this test is 720 micromoles. In the EPAR test, the average ePPFD is 951.8 micromoles per square meter. That's a usable ePPF of 685.3 micromoles. That means the Atrium Hydra 3200 delivered 27.8 micromoles of far red light, which is 4.1% of the total flux. The power draw during both tests was 316 watts. So the usable PAR photon efficiency is 2.08 micromoles per watt, and the usable EPAR photon efficiency is 2.17 micromoles per watt. Having PPFD values above 800 in the corners and average densities over 900 micromoles per square meter is insane. Some growers may be able to handle this much light, but many growers will be glad there's a dimmer. When I spoke with Mike Lynn about the Hydra 3200, he explained that he wanted to make a light that gives growers more power and flexibility. To fit more light into a space, they worked on uniform distribution. But with so much light, Mike knew it would be important to include a good dimmer. Looking at these maps, I wonder how much I could dim the Hydra 3200 before the corners fall below the 500 micromole per square meter threshold for prime photosynthesis. I put the SQ500 PAR sensor back into the corner with the lowest PPFD, and I'll tick the dimmer knob down until the PPFD falls below 500 micromoles per square meter. The dimmer on the Hydra 3200 is great because it allows both fine-tuning and precision. It's continuously adjustable with a digital display. Wow, less than 60%. At 58%, it's just under 500 micromoles per square meter. But at 59%, it looks like the whole canopy will be in the prime photosynthetic range. I'll run a couple of tests. The fact that the Hydra 3200 can keep the entire canopy in the prime photosynthetic density range at only 59% power speaks to both how powerful the fixture is and how well it distributes the light. I doubt many growers would want to flower their plants at only 59% power, but it shows how much extra power there is. And the granular digital dimmer allows you to dial in the perfect amount for your plants. But to me, 
The uniform distribution is the most impressive thing about the Hydra 3200. I think you'll see that in these maps. Again, we'll look at the PAR map first. Obviously, the densities are lower in this test. It's running on 59% power, but the Hydra 3200 still covers the full canopy. The maximum PPFD is only 632, and the lowest corner is 506 micromoles per square meter. Flipping to the EPAR map, you see the same even distribution of light, from top to bottom and side to side, even into the corners. Let's run the numbers on these 59% tests. I kept the hanging height at 49 centimeters, about 19 and a half inches. In the PAR test, the maximum PPFD was 632 micromoles per square meter. And in the EPAR test, the maximum was 657 micromoles per square meter. The average PPFD in the PAR test was 579.7 micromoles per square meter, which converts to a usable PPF of 417.4 micromoles. The average ePPFD in the EPAR test was 601.8 micromoles per square meter. That converts to a usable ePPF of 433.3 micromoles. At 59% power, the Hydra 3200 drew 193 watts from the wall, giving it a 2.16 photon efficiency in the PAR range and a 2.24 photon efficiency in the EPAR range. These tests show an interesting and useful relationship between the dimmer setting and the average PPFD. At this height, the dimmer reading is close to the average PPFD, just out of zero. Here at 59% power, the average PPFD and ePPFD are just about 590. You can use that to estimate the average PPFD at other dimmer settings. I also ran a complete dimmer test. It's included with all the maps and data on the test report page in the Cocoa for Cannabis Grow Light Guide. Here are the main data from the official EPAR test. As we've seen, it's more than enough light for a 4x2 space. We estimate it could cover up to 10 and a half square feet, and we predict a harvest potential of over 18 ounces. Here you can find the shopping link and our discount code. Shop atriumlighting.com and use discount code CCFC for 10% off. Your cost for the Hydra 3200 will be $377. That gives it a cost efficiency of 55 cents per micromole. It's an impressive fixture for how powerful it is and how well it distributes the light. The PAR and EPAR maps are the biggest selling point. The most impressive statistic to me is that it kept the entire canopy in the prime photosynthetic range with only 59% power. So the winning number in the PAR test Premier giveaway is 59. Congrats to whoever guessed the closest number. And if you missed the Premier, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next one. Below the test data and the gross space calculator, you'll find my written review. The Atrium Hydra 3200 is a powerful light for 4x2 coverage. It has excellent distribution, so it's able to fit a ton of light into the coverage area. And it has an excellent dimmer, so you can dial in the PPFD density that's best suited for your grow. The photon efficiency is slightly lower than some competitive fixtures, but the Hydra 3200 has more power and still runs rather cool. The ambient temperature during my tests was 24 degrees Celsius, 75 Fahrenheit. I measured the maximum temperature on the LED bars at 48.4 degrees Celsius, 119.1 Fahrenheit. The driver was detached and hit a high temperature of 51.7 degrees Celsius, 125.1 Fahrenheit. The dimmer is also a selling point for the Hydra 3200. The dimmer is key because full power may be a bit much for many growers in a 4x2 tent. The continuously adjustable dimmer with a digital display gives flexibility to set any power setting and confidence that the setting is correct. In my test, the PPFD and EPPFD values ran just slightly higher than the dimmer setting throughout the dimmer range. The Atrium Hydra 3200 is an innovative fixture that will smother a 4x2 tent in high density light. I think the dimmer will rescue many growers because you need to have your grow dialed in or the plants will suffer under so much light. However, there's no shame in having more power than you need. The Atrium Hydra 3200 produces the best PAR map that I've seen in a 4x2 space and it has the highest harvest potential. At Cocoa for Cannabis, we always put the growers' interests first. 
Our goal is to provide impartial, science-based testing and reviews for home growers. You support our work when you use our codes to purchase grow lights. I'd like to thank Mike Lynn at Atrium Lighting for sending me the Hydra 3200 to test. And thank you for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Turn on your notifications so you don't miss the next PAR test premiere giveaway. Learn about all of our grow light giveaways on the deals and discounts page at CocoForCannabis.com. While you're there, you can read our articles, chat with our community in the chat room, join our next grow challenge, and try your hand at the grow light calculator. Grow your own, but don't grow alone. Let's grow together. I'm Dr. MJ Coco, sending all of you grower love.